So hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Cars and Engineering. In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you the power of an ultrasonic cleaner on this 1.8 20 valve turbo head. Stay tuned. Set the pace when I'm running, I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. This is a 1.8 20 valve turbo head. You can see how dirty it is. It's been on a very dirty engine. You can see how sort of oil soaked it is. It's not as bad as I've seen before. I've cleaned up a little bit there and it came out pretty good. Or as you can see there, still quite oil stained. So it's not as bad. It means the engine's actually had some good oil changes in its previous life. Um, I also noticed there's a few modifications done to this engine when I was dropping it down, which I've done on the channel, which is mainly the resistor delete, the N249 delete. Um, so you might be a fan, this might be your old engine, we don't know. But anyway, this is now the engine that will be rebuilt on the channel. The previous one was stripped down, machine shot, buggered it up, and now we're here. Um, I explained that in my previous video, I'm sure it'll be up here somewhere, or wherever YouTube now promotes it. Anyway, this is behind it, an old sonic cleaner. Now, when I measured this cylinder head, it was just shy of 50 mil, or 50 centimeters, sorry, in length, and it's about 27, 28 in width. I measured it to fit in this old sonic cleaner, that's why I bought it. Um, this bit over here, where the sort of lift up eye is, and also where the timing sprocket goes for the camshaft, that's too wide, so it don't fit. So I'm gonna have to put this in long ways up but it will show you how good the cleaner is because it will clean 50% of one side and 50% of the other side will be normal so I'm going to put it in I will show you the ultrasonic machine in a moment and what I've got in it and um, just a cleaning solution which is readily available on Amazon all of this stuff will be in the description if you want to buy it yourself or I'll put some alternatives in this which is quite the big one so this is quite expensive they do smaller ones for smaller parts I cleaned up a piston the other day but it sort of attacked the sides a little bit but it did reveal that there's some screwing on the piston I don't know if you can see that that well on camera but you can see there's scoring on the piston so if I didn't have the ultrasonic cleaner to clean that I wouldn't have known that this piston, unless obviously it's gonna clean it anyway, but this piston's probably pretty much had it. So I'm gonna have to look at getting some new ones, uh, possibly a rebore on the actual block itself. I'm not sure. This is only at the cleaning stage. I'm gonna clean everything, strip everything, measure everything, and then go from there. And I've already done an engine strip down series, so I've kind of left that out this time. Um, but well, obviously when it goes back together, I'm gonna to document it. But, when I put it back together, there's a few YouTubes I will be shouting out. Um, who have, I've been watching build engines for quite a few years now, things like that. Notes they've given, um, but at the time, I will reveal obviously who I've been watching and uh, hopefully might get some of them involved as well with the remapping of the car and that sort of thing. I'm going to get this out of the way and show you the ultrasonic cleaner. So you can also see that I also cleaned a Porsche caliper up with it as well these will be going on the polo I had to make my own crossover pipes that will be another video it's just sort of like a prototype at the moment and I'll explain why I've actually made my own pipes anyway but that's something else that's been cleaned obviously it's not before and after but you can see it's left quite a streak free shine um, just needs a little bit of sanding and then should be ready for paint and obviously you get rid of that get a nice GTI badge there not a Porsche badge but anyway on to the ultrasonic cleaner this is the ultrasonic cleaner it is a 30 litre capacity you can see I've got some fluid in there now um, what you can do which is great on this you can set a temperature so that's I'm currently 80 degrees well that's the actual temperature that's what it's set for that's where it is it's on 22 and you can set it for 30 minutes um, is a maximum time this thing will be allowed to run but you just turn the heater on or off and then and you can turn the ultrasonic on and off like that it is quite noisy so that's why it's in a workshop sort of environment it's quite noisy but I'll show you up here so that's a mix like a special sort of homebrew mix of degrees and stuff it's mainly gunk ultra 
slightly lower down, so it's not too um, attacking. And there's a couple of other sort of degrees of songs in there that I found that work quite well with gunk. But again, links will be down in the description. Uh, what I'm going to do is take the actual gaskets off the head first because they're kind of not needed on it. Now, what are the benefits of an ultrasonic machine? Now, they use a thing called cavitation, so a lot of people get it mixed up, they think it's electricity flowing through the actual solution itself. It's not. It's transducers, which are basically speakers, and they work at a certain frequency that they cause cavitation. Um, they basically sort of just use air bubbles to blast off all the grime and all the dirt from the car itself, or from the engine, or whatever you've got in there, it uses cavitation. You can see on this piston here, I've got like squirrel marks that focuses. I've got squirrel marks, you can sort of kind of see it there, it's a bit swishy poshy. You can see them better in there. So you can see where the bubbles sort of hit and explode and take off little bits of dirt. And it's, it's non invasive, it doesn't attack the metal itself, just the contaminants on the outside. Um, but it's also good to keep an eye on things, don't leave things in here without testing them, like testing Ali piston, see that it comes out, an Ali head, which is heavily sawed in oil, should fare better. But you can go with different temperature settings, so you can lower, higher, whatever you want. Um, but depends on you ultimately and what you want. You can pay for this service from most machine shops, they normally hot tank stuff for you, normally do it for free, but it's good to have a workshop, I think. It's always good because you can put ejectors in it, you can well, inject the tips, not the entire ejector. But pretty much anything that's heavily soiled, you put it in there for 30 minutes on a nice temperature with a good cleaner and it'll decimate the oil, which you're hopefully about to see. So just get all this hardware off. I'll we'll probably fast forward for that so you don't have to bore yourself silly. But just two gaskets, the one around the outside, the one in the middle, get that off. I've taken the electronic coupling over here off for the or the oil pressure uh, switch for the variable valve timing that's off. I'm also going to leave all these cap heads in to see how they clear up. They're going to be replaced regardless, but. So that's all of the bolts off, or the nuts off the bolts, or the studs. Just get rid of this old gasket, we don't need that in there. So that can go to the bin. Along with this one here. So all new stuff will be used when this gets put back together. All new hardware, all new, well the studs will probably be the same. Bolts on the studs. I'm gonna try and save weight wherever I can. I'm not too sure about delaying aircon just yet, just in case I use the car in the summer and England get a week of hot weather. Um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, I'm gonna put this in the tank itself, but before that I'm gonna show you what the cavitation effect looks like. So you can see this is a solution at the moment, turn the cavitation on. Right, so in this clip here I'm just basically showing what the ultronic cleaner does uh, fundamentally. This was far too loud this clip and I shouldn't have been trying to talk over a ultronic cleaner while filming a video but here you can see it's getting the dirt off my finger but by the use of cavitation. So instead of leaving this clip blank or just fast forwarding it, I probably could have just deleted it but this is a good representation of what the old sonic cleaner does or will do to the cylinder head. Get the engine in and then go from there. So I'm going to do it going that side down first because it's not big enough to fit in there width ways. The block should, I've measured the block, the block should go in both ways but this has to go in like this. Right, so that's in, so you can see it's a little bit overfilled now, so I might have to drain off a little bit just to make sure that it doesn't, yeah, it's probably about 
half an inch or so above where the fill line is and it's still heating up but it's quite good because it's going to be a quite a good representation of half and half and it will be good a bloody good thumb now, I'll tell you that much but turn it on still heating up I did I'd like it at 80 degrees for this thing takes bloody ages to heat up so let me drain some out and then we can get going on the actual ultrasonics right, so this is cylinder head in and I put it back on to 30 minutes at 80 degrees um, this isn't a cooking channel I swear but it's already started eating into the actual oil itself I'm gonna see if I can get a shot through the actual like fluid itself as it's going so we'll start it then we'll go from there so now we're about 15 minutes in just below water is gone or the solution is gone completely cloudy so I'm hoping that means it's been cleaned off I'm gonna raise it above the water or the solution then we'll see if there's any drastic change so straight away I can see already how much that's cleaned off so I'm gonna leave it back in check back another 14 minutes or so and uh, Hopefully, the difference should be day and night. So that is the 30 minutes done inside the ultrasonic cleaner. I've only done 30 minutes. Uh, the temperature wasn't on, so it's still on 33 degrees for some reason. Uh, that's Celsius for our American friends. But I'm going to pull out the head from the solution, let it drain a little bit, and then show you on the bench the difference. You can already see, like, there's a very noticeable line of how different the oily side is compared to the clean side. So I'll pull it out, and then we can inspect to see what has happened. see here that's the dirty side that wasn't in the solution this is the clean size or the clean side that was in the solution you can see it is a complete night and day difference Let me get the camera up here. you can see where the solutions got in and cleaned compared to where it hasn't still got some job to do inside there so it's cleaner than obviously in here, but just need to soak for a while. The most surprising side is this side, but that's where most of the cavitation was hitting anyway. So I'm not surprised this side is a lot cleaner. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave that in overnight on this side only. I'm gonna turn it off and then let it sit tomorrow in hot solution, so 80 degrees plus, and that should blast off any other stuff inside this engine. The only thing I can see that's going to be a problem is it's probably about, I don't know, 15 centimeters of submersion. So there'll only be 15 on the other side. So we're gonna have to try and figure out how to get the thing fully submerged. I might put it in at like an angle or something. But I'll follow this up and leave that in solution for 25 or 24 hours um, at 80 degrees and then probably run it through a couple more cycles. But yeah, that's that's pretty astounding. That I knew it'd be pretty, uh, pretty good. But even on the even on the combustion chamber side, look, let's clean the valves up compared to them too. So it's like a before and after. I'll follow this up tomorrow, and then we can go from there. Right, so as you can see here, this is the dirty side of the engine. This is all the grime that's come off of it. Now it's been in there for a few days, probably about three or four days, just sort of soaking, getting up to temperature, having a few more sort of cycles. But this is the clean side, so you can see how clean that side is compared to that side. It's like a day and night difference. So. Not so noticeable on the sides, because it's only been facing down. He is very noticeable. You can see though, where the aluminium started to get a bit of stain. So that's, that'll buff back out again, with a little bit of like, Scotch powder, something like that. 
So, come back eventually. Might have been in there a bit too long. See all that, all that sludge coming out. The can position ring. But, but even down the ball holes where the spark plugs are, all this side there is clean. It's not going to be 100%, but this is like a first sort of stage clean. So then when it's skimmed at the machine shop, it will then be another well we will never it will then go through another hot tank solution so it'll be like double cleaned and then after that we'll clean it before reassembly and once it's reassembled we're ready to go it'll be wrapped in cling film so that while the block is being built this will be free from any contaminants or anything like that but let me flip it around and I'll show you the other side I don't know if you can see but let's see if I can get a torch on it you can see, look how clean that intake runner is. That one's a bit cleaner. Look how dirty them two are. So it's done a good job. You can see where it's in the solution. And obviously it's not completely perfectly clean, but before and after, I'll take that. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Just a quick little video to show you that Content is still coming, Polo is still on the way. You can probably hear it running in the background. That's the block, probably needs to re grind all that sort of crap. Um, but this is what we needed because of the damaged pads on the other head. That's not a Sonic Cleaner. Links to everything will be down in the description. Also, some pistons there and a Porsche caliper. Another video coming up. Um, yeah, link for everything will be down in the description. Even the old galleries. Pretty good. Um, yeah, links for everything will be down in the description. As always, please like, please subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care.